Want to know how to change your oil pressure sensor or sending unit on a Dodge Magnum engine? Let's stick around to today's video and find out. Okay, and welcome back guys. Today's video, we're gonna be changing out the oil pressure sending unit or oil pressure sensor on this V8 Magnum. This happens to be a 5.9, but it could be a 5.2 and pretty much they're on a lot of this era style and uh, engines. So they are back here. Well, luckily on this engine, because it does have uh, an aftermarket intake manifold, it's easily accessible as you can see right there that is your oil pressure uh, sensor so or sending unit so i'm going to show you the stuff that we need to take this off like i said luckily i don't have to take out too much if you have like what's called a kegger it's usually a little bit harder to get to you have to really reach down behind it but that's the location. I'll show you guys the tools and the new sensor. Just before we change it though, I do wanna show you what the pressure is reading. Right now, it seems like the pressure is a little bit low. It should just be the sensor because these are notorious for going bad, but I wanna show you guys where it's sitting on the gauge and then we'll see what it looks like after. So go ahead and start it up. The engine's completely cold. So hopefully you guys can see it without the glare. Yeah, so it's right around there. And it seems to be working, but it did give us an intermittent where it's, it uh, stopped reading. So hopefully you guys can hear me over the loud engine of this truck, but it seems to be reading good right now, but it did kind of uh, fail. It went out on us just briefly for a moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change it anyways, cause they're known to go bad. Let's get to work. So here is the socket and it's only about seven or eight bucks. So I'll link it for you guys. And the size is, this is a specific socket for this task. It is an inch and one sixteenth. So if you guys can see that, and it's got this on the back. Some guys were saying about being able to put the 3 8 drive in there and they'd rather just put the socket over top because by the time you put the length of our new sensor, which this is a new sensor, I'll link this as well. By the time you put the new sensor in there, it pretty much bottoms out in the socket and can push your 3 8 drive out or make it difficult to fully seat it. So this fits beautifully in here. If you absolutely have to use a 3 8 is you can play with the orientation of your sensor so that the hole isn't blocked. So you can move it around to get it in a better spot before you install it. So take that for what it's worth. Let's get the old sensor out. First things first, you will see this red locking tab. Hopefully you guys can see this here. The red locking tab on here. So you're gonna have to push it out so that you can release the clip. So if you wanna use your hand or you wanna use a tool, either way, red locking tab has to be released. Once you get that red locking tab out of there, you can go ahead and squeeze your connector. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this connector off like so. Now we can get our tool in there and get that sensor out. So hopefully you guys can see this. I've got our chrome socket. I used a one inch and one eighth socket over top of our tool so that I can get a half inch drive on it and I can get it from here. Again, it might you might have to use a series of extensions if you do have the kegger intake manifold, which I'm sure most of you guys do, but however you need to get it in there, that's where it is. And we're gonna go ahead and loosen it right from here. Oh, and it was actually really loose. It wasn't even that tight in there. We haven't had this out, but you can see just like that. It really wasn't that hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin that out. All right, so we're turning it out and it may not have been loose, but just the fact that we used a half inch on it might've made it a little bit easier. So here's the original one. I would assume that it's original Mopar one, but who knows, right guys? You never know. I don't see any thing that indicates it's a Mopar one, so it could be, could be a cheapy one. And there's a new sensor. So always compare your connectors, make sure they're the same. And we'll go ahead and we'll throw the new one in. So I'm just hand tightening the new one in with the socket on it. And then once I can't tighten this anymore, we'll give it a snug with our ratchet. So I'm gonna snug this guy up and then we'll put our connector on. So we're gonna click it down until we hear the click. And then we're gonna put our red latch back in and that's it, we're done. So let's go ahead and we'll start it and we'll verify the difference. This 
one's a little bit more reliable. So that's gonna be a wrap for it, you guys. Easy, simple, maybe in our case a little bit easier. If you guys have a regular intake manifold, you might have to reach a little bit more, but same location, same tools, same job. So if you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful or informative, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more helpful videos and other fun related truck and car content. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.